Hi, welcome. In this video, I'm gonna go over a brand new tool. It's a free tool available to you if you're a Better Sheets member and to anyone else if you just go to bettersheets.co slash rejects matcher. But here, let me explain what it is. So rejects or regular expressions is sort of a code-like syntax that you can use for pattern matching. In any text or any string of characters, you can say, hey, I wanna look for this kind of thing. You can use rejects or regular expressions to find a pattern. I have here 200 examples. I'm gonna go over the examples in another video very specifically and you'll be able to get the sheet. Actually, if you're on Better Sheet Co. right now, you can get the sheet below and in the other video, it'll be the same exact sheet. But we're just gonna cover a little bit of what Rejects is here and why I built this Rejects, which again is a free tool to generate the Rejects for your Rejects match. Because Rejects match, and it's very simple. It returns true or false. It's finding a match and if it doesn't find a match, it's false. It finds a match, true. So it's really useful for data validation. If you're just validating, does something exist? Or if you're like, hey, I have all this text and I want to know where it is and I want to get it rid of it. Maybe you want to clean some data. You're like, hey, I'm looking for like all these at mentions and I want to take those out of the text or hashtags. I want to take out anywhere there's hashtags. You can clean data really easily if you just do true or true or false. You're like, hey, all the false or all the trues, I want to get rid of. But data validation is you want the true. You want true and you're like, does this have this text pattern or not? Data filtering, if you're like, hey, I want to know, you know, in all of these reviews, is there a URL? Is there in all of these sets of text? text and all of these tweets. I, I, maybe I exported all my tweets and I want to know where do I mention other people. Data classification is really good for a rejects match because rejects match is just returning true or false. So it can be combined with if, which needs a logical expression of true or false. And then based on the outcome, you get, you can classify your data. Error checking too, if you find that you're like, oh, I just, I have like a few URLs, but I want to make sure that they're all correctly. Where are they? Where is it false, right? Where did I make the error? If you're using conditional formatting a lot. Sometimes you need to just say, hey, in all of these texts, I want to find where there is two words that, that like cat or dog. Uh, and sometimes conditional formatting can be done. You can use rejects or regular expressions inside of conditional formatting, but you're like, I don't want to do it outside of the sheet. I want like not outside of the sheet, but outside the text. I want to have a column that says true, false, true, false. And then I'll do conditional formatting where it's just, if this column is true, highlight it. Or if this is false, highlight it. This is really helpful. Helpful, rejects match is at least okay so some examples like email validation we just want to know does the cell contain an email address and what's really cool is if in this list of examples again I'm gonna go through all of these a lot of these examples and how you can search through this and you might use this in another video but right now we're just gonna go for with through a couple because I want to tell you why I built this rejects matcher which is I got over 200 examples here but that's not the end there are there are an infinite amount of use cases for this and you'll see like when we'll look for URL, URL detection, just if there is a URL or not. Sometimes it's like video URL, there's social media profile URL, Twitter URL detection, Instagram, here's all the, all these different types of things. They have relatively the same rejects expression that you'll need, but based on maybe you want Wikipedia or not. Okay, that's why I built rejects matchers to get exactly your use case. So if we want to do like, in, like we just want to say, is there an Instagram URL here on co slash rejects matcher, completely free tool. You're going to enter your use case here. I want to verify if a cell contains a valid Instagram profile URL. And I'm actually going to pick this text to match and just like put whatever text you want to match in, in it, right? Here's the URL. You could, and I will show you there is a little bit of an error here, but it's not an error. It's just something that doesn't work with Google Sheets. But basically I want to also say, I want to get the exact formula. You're going to get out of this, the exact formula for rejects match. So over here we have it already. I have checked all of these off and it's going to say, true but let's use this where is it d40 is the text i'm looking for so i'm going to enter d40 in here and if you don't enter anything it'll just do it'll just put a1 but we'll get rejects match it'll generate now the rejects so I'm gonna copy, it's actually copied to my clipboard already. I don't even have to copy it. And let's paste it in here and see, I didn't write it now. I just used the rejects matcher, matchmaker, and it exactly got it right. This is true. Meaning if this has Instagram.com in it, if it doesn't, it's false, right? So it didn't find Instagram.com. But if it has Instagram.com and some profile information, it'll say true. That's pretty cool, right? And we can use any use case here. You can verify if a cell contains an email address and we're gonna be like this is my email 
Andrew at bettersheets.co. And we'll just do a one here. Get the rejects for that. And it will automatically generate exactly the, this is the reject for email address, right? You can sort of see it. If you know a little bit about rejects or regular expressions. Thing is, I don't know that much about rejects. I can sort of figure it out pretty by reading all of these things, right? Using exactly the character. We have A to Z in brackets to say, okay, any letter A to Z, and you, but you have to do A to Z lowercase and A to Z uppercase. And it's a lot of reject stuff that I don't remember. And so reject this, I built actually for myself to make sure that I got the correct rejects on regular expressions. Cause I was using rejects a lot to like do matches and find certain words and like do things like palindromes and stuff. What I will, mention to you, there is one little thing you need to know when you're using this tool, one weird thing that could happen. I'll explain it. In rejects, there is a couple of characters that you can add to this where, let's see here, at the beginning, if we use this caret, upper caret, and if at the end we use a dollar sign, this is going to be false, even though it, it's actually true. It should be true, right? We're looking for a Twitter profile. These extra characters mean that it's at the end. If you get this dollar sign and if you get an, this sort of upper upper carrot thing, make sure you delete those. It, it might end up being false in your rejects match and you're like, hey, uh, this actually should work. But if you see this dollar sign and you see this upper carrot in the beginning, just you just have to delete them and it'll end up being true. It's because it's locking it to the end of the text. That's what those characters do in rejects. And sometimes the rejects matcher will add those there because sometimes the text that you add, it thinks that's the entire text kind of thing. So hopefully this is really helpful to you. It's really helpful to to me already for a lot of these use cases. When I get really dicey rejects that I need and I need to do a lot of data validation, cleaning data, data filtering, data classification. I wanna do some error checking on text. I wanna make sure, you know, mentions are here or mentions are not here and really helpful for conditional formatting. In another video, I will go through a ton more use cases. I have 200 examples here. If you're a Better Sheets member now, go grab the sheet. It's at bettersheets.co. And if you are not a member and you're watching this say on YouTube, check out bettersheets.co slash rejects match and it's a free tool to create the rejects match formula for you and for your specific use case. All right, bye.